Hi everyone, hope you are doing great. Today we are going to explore radial bar charts with Apex charts. In my last video, we have covered creating some common charts using Apex charts in Vue.js. Since I received a specific video request for a tutorial on radial bar charts, I'm making this video. I'll keep this video focused and brief, specifically explaining radial bar charts. If you want to learn about installing Apex charts in Vue.js and create different types of charts, please check out the previous video. The link is in the description and also shown at the top right of the screen. If you are new here, I am Sashank and I teach web design and development with a focus on Tailwind CSS and Vue.js. If that interests you, don't forget to subscribe. We will start with a simple radial bar chart that shows progress on one bar. Then we will see how to customize this chart and apply gradient colors to enhance the visual appeal and then we will see how to add multiple radial bars each with its own label and data point. So let's dive in. We are in VS Code in the same project where we left in the last video. Just to refresh, in order to create an Apex chart, we need to specify three things. Let's open the line chart to see them. So these are the three items that you need. We need to specify the type of the chart that we are going to create and we need to specify the data that is the series the data that should be shown on the chart and then the options are the customization options for the specific chart let's copy this line chart and paste it above and we'll make changes to create the radial bar chart let's change the name first We'll remove the ref and the button and we'll change the type to radial bar and we'll create two new variables called radial bar chart series and radial bar chart options. Now let's go to the script setup and create these two. I'll copy this name. Const. So series is always an array of items. So we'll use ref of an array of items. First we will see just one item. So I'll just put uh, some random number 45 and then we'll create the radial bar chart options. And this is going to be a ref of an object. So we have a data point 45. So in order to show what it is, we'll create a label that we can do using the plot options. So inside the radial bar chart options, you can create plot options and specify the radial bar. And inside that, let's create data labels. And inside these data labels, we have a property called total. And inside this, you have to set it to true. So show true. And then the label name. That is label project summary. Now let me save and hopefully the chart should appear on the left side. Okay, so we have the label with 45% that I've given and we can see that the radial bar is perfectly working. Now to understand how we can customize this chart further, let's add some gradient to this. So under the plot options, you can use a property called fill and specify the type of gradient, specify the type as gradient. And then we can specify that gradient and give multiple options inside this. So there are so many options. You can check the official documentation for that. But I'll show you some options so that you understand how to use them. So I can use shade and set it to dark. I can uh, set the direction of that gradient. I'll use vertical. I can give the gradient color as well that goes on top of this default color. 
so that would be gradient to colors colors and this will be an array of items so i'll create an array and i'll create a hex code and uh, we can even give stops like where should this uh, gradient color start and stop inside this area so i'll use stops and set the stops i'll just give the normal stop gradient stops now let me say one we should see a gradient bar okay as you can see we have a gradient we have a darker blue color in the middle now let's make this sharp edge to a rounded edge so under fill we can use stroke and use the line cap property and set it to round and now we have a beautiful looking radial bar now let's add multiple data points as i said earlier so i'll give some other numbers and to show the labels for this we can create a labels property and we can specify the names i'll just use design development probably testing and then deployment so i'll save this and you can see automatically we have four different radial bars along with their labels and data points but the gradient is applied to only the first one because we did not uh, give the colors for the other items let me just copy some hex colors so now we have four gradient radial bars each with a different data item and also a label specifically for that i hope this video gave you a clear understanding of how to create and customize radial bar charts using apex charts in vue.js if you have any questions please leave a comment below for specific video requests related to Tailwind CSS and Vue.js, follow me on social media and send me your detailed requests there. I'm really happy to help. Please avoid spamming the comments. And I'm also planning to set up a WhatsApp group to help aspiring developers connect and collaborate. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and give it a like. Thank you so much for watching and happy coding.